Welcome back, everybody. First of all, I'd like to say live long and prosper. Enjoy life. Good to see you again. Today, I want to look at this quadratic relation. Quadratic because it has a couple square terms in it. What would the graph of that look like? Any bright ideas? Well, first of all, there's two y's for every x, so it's not a function. Could be a circle, could be a, an ellipse. How can we tell? Well, the clue is this minus sign right here. That makes it a hyperbola. You got it. Now, it's impossible to write this as y equals therefore it becomes more difficult to analyze and graph, but we'll see what we can do. The first thing you might want to answer is a question like this. Is, for example, the point 5,3 on that hyperbola? How would we figure that out? That's right, see if it satisfies the equation. So if I plug in 0.53, I'm going to get 5 squared over 5 minus 3 squared over 3 equals 3 times 5 plus 5 times 3 over 15 minus 5 times 3. Let's simplify that. 5 squared over 5 is 5. 3 squared over 3 is 3. That's 15 plus 1 minus 15. 5 minus 3 is 2. 15 plus 1 minus 15 is 1. So sadly, the point 0.53 is not on the hyperbola. But on the plus side, look what I've just proven. Once again, 1 equals 2. QED, big fat check marker, better yet. Smiley face. It's amazing how often that proof comes up when you're doing other types of math. Okay, so let's analyze this function in order to get enough points so that we can graph it. To do that, it's probably a good idea to get rid of the fraction. So if I multiply everything by the lowest common denominator, which is 15, I'm going to get 3x squared minus 5y squared equals 45x plus xy minus 75y. And it might be a good idea to bring everything to the left-hand side. If I do that, this will become negative. This will become negative. This will become positive. And that will be equal to what? What's left over on the right-hand side? Don't say zero. Remember the other video? Big fat zero. There you go. All right. Let's find some points. I let x equals 0, I can find the y-intercepts. If I let x equals 0, I'm going to get negative 5y squared plus 75y equals big fat 0. If I factor out negative 5y, I'm left with y minus 15. So we can see y could be 0. Or 15. Well, that's not any old y's. Those are the y-intercepts. I'm going to put a little i here for intercepts. And in my chart, I can put 0 and 15 for the y-intercepts. Now let's try, let's say, x equals 10. What does that give me? That gives me 300 minus 5y squared again, minus 450, minus 10y, plus 75y equals big fat zero. If I combine like terms, I get negative 5y squared plus 65, whoops, 65y minus 150 equals, you got it, big fat zero. Let's divide by negative five. 
So we get y squared minus 13y plus 30 equals 0. Does that factor? Yes, as a matter of fact, it does. I get y minus 3 times y minus 10 equals 0. So in this case, y is 3 or 10. Amazing how we didn't get decimals there. So let's put those in our table, 3 and 10. Now to save time, let me just give you the other numbers. If I would have let y equal 0, I would get the x-intercepts. And by a similar calculation, they also turn out to be 0 and 15. There's the 0 one, and the 15 one would be here. Now, this turns out to be negative 3.1 and 19.1. So when you use negative 5, you have to use the quadratic formula. 5 gives 2.6 and 11.6. So that shows, again, that 5, 3 is not on the hyperbola. It's actually 5 and about 2.6. 15 gives 0 and 12, and 20 gives negative 4 and 15. Now before I graph those over here, let's find out the maximums and minimums of this quadratic relation. In order to do that, I have to differentiate, which some of you may not be familiar with, and in fact, I have to differentiate implicitly because, we, like I said before, we can't get y by itself. So if I differentiate this, I'm going to get 6x, and if you're not familiar with this, just take up my word for it, minus 10y times the slope, y prime, minus 45. And here I have to use the product rule, so minus y minus x y prime plus 75 equals big fat zero. So now what I want to do is get all the y prime, oh, this is y, this is 75 y prime. What am I doing? Equals big fat zero. So now what I want to do is get all the y prime terms together, get all the other terms together, bring them to the right-hand side. So if I do that, first of all, I'm going to get um, this goes to the other side, that goes to the other side, and that goes to the other side. So let's say y, put the y first, and then I'll put the minus 6x and the plus 45. And on this side, if I factor out y prime, I get minus 10y minus x plus 75. So the slope at any point on the curve is given by this divided by that. The maximum and minimum points, this has to be big fat zero. So what in this fraction can make it zero? Well, the denominator can't, unless you're dividing by infinity, that's not a real number. So the denominator cannot make it zero. So we can ignore the denominator, just like you ignore your mother or your spouse. Only the numerator can make it equal to zero. So if I Set that equal to zero, I'm going to get y equals 6x minus 45. What does that mean? What does that tell us? Well, it tells us that the maximum and minimum of the hyperbola will be on this line. y-intercept is negative 45, so it's way off my graph. The slope is 6, so it's very steep. And if I want to find what those points actually are, I simply take this. And wherever I see y, for example, here, here, and here, plug that in, do 
do all the calculations, solve for x. I would encourage you to try that because it's lots of fun. I'll just give you the result. The critical values, I'll put a C there, the, the x values of the max and the min are negative 8.1 and 9.2 and the corresponding optimal values are 3.3 and 9.1. So now let's graph these points and this point and this point. Let's see what it looks like. So starting with the table of values, I get roughly here and roughly here, here and here. Those are exact. Roughly here and here. Uh, here and. Here and here, about there and here, and then I'll do the critical points in a different color, one thing here. I think there should be positive 8.1, sorry about that. So that would be about here. And this one would be about here. There we go. So they're not on a vertical line. They're on a bit of an angle because the, you know, the x values are different. So if I put a line through there, just to give you an idea, whoops, that line is 6x minus 45. I join the points as best I can. The hyperbola looks like this. Voila. There you have it. Amazing. Hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.